Hello friends and welcome to the channel. Today we're hiking the last 5.6 miles of the Natchaug Trail from Route 44 to the junction of the Nipmuc Trail. We parked on Route 44 three miles west of Frog Rock and just past Bigelow Brook. Understandably, this is not identified as trail parking. It's a busy road and cars can approach at highway speed, so be careful if you park here. The Natchaug Trail is an 18-mile Connecticut Blue Blaze Trail. It was likely created in the early 1970s and first appeared in the Connecticut Walkbook in 1973. There's not a lot of elevation on this hike, but it comes with plenty of water views and stone walls. This is my third video on the trail. It covers the miles 11.9 to 17.8. Please be sure to check out the Natchog playlist in the description below if you'd like to see more of this trail. This custom all trails map shows the section we'll be hiking today. We'll start on the south end at Route 44 and follow the scenic Bigelow Brook north for half of our hike. Leaving the Bigelow Brook behind, the trail stays to the north of Summer Hill where we come to an open view of a large field and the hills beyond. From here we travel west through Upland Forest before crossing Moon Road and re-entering Natchaug State Forest. We'll navigate over a small ridge before reaching a picturesque dam and a pond that form the headwaters of South Chisholm Brook. As we approach Spooner Hill, we'll encounter an old road which is lined with stone walls on both sides and see a cellar foundation. Beyond Spooner Hill, we enter the North Chisholm Brook drainage where we encounter more ponds and a couple of streams. We cross a final brook and see another pond before passing the backside of Ladies Room Rock and reaching the junction of the Nipmuc Trail. As I walk along Bigelow Brook, I couldn't help but think someone got this wrong. Wasn't this a river? Being the nerd that I am, I looked it up on Wikipedia, which says it's a river. Not fully satisfied, I dug deeper looking for definitions and found that size matters, at least in this case. Here's what I came up with, but do let me know in the comments if you have a different understanding. Brooks and creeks are narrow, and most people can generally step over them. Creeks are brooks that are sheltered, usually by trees. Streams are wider than brooks and creeks, with the distinction of being confined by edges or banks. Most people would be able to jump over a stream. Rivers are wide and usually require swimming or a boat to cross. Anyways, the Bigelow Brook flows from Mashpog Lake in Union to its confluence with the Still River in Eastford. I estimated its length to be about 12 miles. If you hike both the Natchaug Trail and the Nutmunk Trail, you'll see a lot of it. At this point we're crossing through some private property, I think it's the Hole in the Gang Wall Camp and they have a road here going down to an amphitheater. The Hole in the Wall Gang Camp was founded in 1988 by Paul Newman to give every child, no matter their illness, the chance to raise a little hell. What is this? This is a massive piece of fungus, let me tell you.
If you've been following my channel, then you know I had back surgery to correct my sciatic nerve problem that's been plaguing me for the last year. This is the first hike in, in over a year where I've actually come out and my leg doesn't hurt, so I'm really super excited about that. I have a new piece of lightweight titanium hardware installed in my spine that keeps everything together. So today, we're giving it a test out on the Natchog Trail, and I'm hoping to finish this section uh, without any pain. So let's see how it goes. After gaining some elevation, the trail dumps us out on this old woods road, and that's immediately behind a house hill here. I'm um, off to do some research and find out what it was, but there was, it looks like there was a road that connected here to Cheney Mill Road, but I'll check it out and let you know. After a short distance, the woods road splits. The trail follows the left fork up along the side of Summer Hill, and on the right would be the road to Cheney Mill. This cut log was a great place to grab a seat and have my sandwich. So if this looks familiar, it should be. This is where I had lunch yesterday. After that, I decided to head back to the car. It was getting late. I didn't want to hike in the dark, and it was my first hike back since surgery. So I'm going to pick up right here from where I left off yesterday. We're gonna to hike to the end of the Natchog Trail where it joins the Nipmonk Trail. As we leave that pond, not surprisingly, the trail follows an old woods road. Here we can see where it was bench cut into the side of the hill. You see tons of rock walls over here. In fact, I think this one right here is the backside of a potential barn because there's rocks on all four sides. So we're coming to a junction what definitely was an old road here. The trail continues to the left and there's parallel stone walls widely set apart. If we look straight, that would be the summit of Spooner Hill. And if we look right, this heads on out and connects with an existing road today. So definitely feels like some kind of a settlement was here. According to the all trails, we followed this three tenths of a mile east. This would bump into Eastford Road. And that makes me very suspicious that this was part of the 
old Connecticut path. So a very short walk east on the uh, old road reveals what is definitely a cellar foundation here. It may be hard to see, but you can see the pond we just walked around down there. So this establishment near water, uh, pre-colonial days made a lot of sense to me. I'm not sure if we'd see this in the summer, but the Natchaug Trail passes two ponds that are right next to each other. Oh yeah, how did the new hardware do? I'm happy to report I had no leg pain. And a special thank you to those who wished me well while I was recovering. As we approach the junction of the Nipmuc Trail, just to our left, we can see the backside of Ladies Room Rock. That happy face is for me, having just completed all 17.8 miles of the Natchaug Trail. Behind me is the Nipmuc Trail. If you're interested in seeing more of the Natchaug Trail, check out the playlist below. And thanks for watching. I'll see you out here in the next one. <laughs>